Hey guys, Spencer here and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God video. Today I'm going to be showing you this new update, which includes the Bard ST set. Finally, oh my god, look at that. Oh, beautiful, gorgeous. Oh my god, okay. We're going to get, uh, let's see, 10 of these. Perfect. Oh yes, we got the harp. <gasps> oh, we got the trumpet. Oh, we got the wings. Oh, we got the Halo thing. What's the stats on that now? HP, MP, Wisdom. Okay, okay. Very nice. And it's just going to keep repeating. Okay, cool. Um, hello? Oh, it's going to do this ten times. Okay. I thought it was just going to give me one piece. Okay, so the way that you get this set is through this nifty little free campaign here. Little Notes to Heaven. And this campaign is going to be running for two weeks, from June 24th to July 8th. So, you've got a long time to get through this campaign, but there is a reason for it. It's very long. You need to get 32,000 points in order to get the full set with the skin and everything. It just gives you all of them at once. Uh, and then, you get all these nifty little things along the way. It's pretty good. Uh, every 15... Uh, what do you get there? Yeah, 15, 15. You get 15 of these shards every single time. Uh, so you can get, what is it, 4, 5 RX abilities for the whole thing. So pretty good. You get a little uh, bard skin there. Pretty nice. A little backpack. It's not bad. But the campaign points uh, you get from certain dungeons. You get them from the Fungal Cavern. Of course, my favorite. Uh, the Shadows, the Lost Halls, the Nest, uh, the Cult, Void... Uh, all of those really hard, uh, kind of high-level dungeons, endgame dungeons, uh, and also from Oryx. You get them from Oryx, Oryx 1, Oryx 2, and then the Court of Oryx dungeons. So, you know, you've got your Shaitans and your bloody freaking boss things, Secluded Thicket, and, uh, what else? What else is there? You got the, the Nidarian Reef, and then there's one more, there's one more. What am I thinking of? I said the Thicket already. I can't remember. But all those dungeons, they give you these tokens. We don't know how many tokens yet are going to be dropping. But we do know that each token gives you seven. Seven campaign points. So to get to 32,000 campaign points in total, you would need about 4,571 tokens. Now, Decker has said that they're going to be giving us 40 tokens for free. So you get 40 music notes, they're little music notes tokens, they're kind of cool. Uh, you get 40 of them for free right off the bat, so it's down to 4,530 that you need to get. But, that's still a, a decent amount, you know. It, let's say they give you 4 per dungeon, right? You still need 1,142 dungeons. Which, in, in 2 weeks, you know, let's divide that by 14 days, it's 81 dungeons a day. You do 81 dungeons in one day, it's it's kind of a lot. Let's divide that by 24 hours. Uh, that's three dungeons every hour that you're... Well, I guess you're not really going to be playing 24 hours a day. But still, it's kind of a lot. You do need to play the game a lot, so make sure you get on the realm. Get on if you want to get this set. Now, I've been talking too much. Let's just get right into it. I want to check out this set. I, I don't even know what it does yet. Like, I played the one on testing. It's updated since testing. So, it's different now. Because um, I still have the the set from testing the first time. We got... Uh, I had that and that. But, I think they're changed now. So, yeah, they're completely different. I, I mean, they're the same item. But, they're completely different now. So, let's have a look here. We've got the... The bow, which is the harmonious harp. Interesting. Um, I'm going to go over this stuff while I'm running to the Godlands, because it's going to take me ages to get there. So, let's go into a realm real quick. It looks really cool with this Oryx ability next to it. I kind of like that. But yeah, this bow is pretty sick. 110 to 140 damage, so pretty high, you know, decent damage, um, considering that it shoots out two shots and... It shoots pretty fast, but it's it's slower than, like, your regular bow. So, it is slightly slower. It's kind of unnoticeable because of the shot pattern and, like, the, the way that the bow is. It's just, it's interesting. It's, like, very slow. Um, but, yeah, I don't really think that that's 
been changed too much, to be honest. Um, the shots hit multiple targets, naturally. It's a bow, so it should. Um, whatever, let's get on to the... Uh, let's do the robe. So the robe uh, is the Wings of Sanctity. Wings of Sanctity, interesting. Um, this is going to be used by a lot of classes, so it's going to look kind of cool on a bunch of my sets, if I can get some of these. I don't know where they're going to be dropping from, I'm guessing 03, uh, but, you know, maybe not. I, I think it is 03, but either way, I'm going to be trying to get a lot of these, because I think these wings look awesome. And they give decent stats, you know, you get MP, which is interesting. Um, good on a lot of robe classes, to be honest, like Priest, Necro, um, maybe even Mystic, I don't know. It's pretty good, considering it gives five decks as well. Really decent, really decent robe. Um, five Wiz, five Vit. Ten Def is not too shabby, to be honest, um, considering a G Sork gives 13, but, you know, pretty decent. I've got two pieces equipped now, so I've got plus 20 HP, plus 3 dex, plus 3 death. So I've got 13, oh no, how much? I've got uh, 8 more dex than I normally would, so that's pretty cool. And then we got the halo here, which is whiz, HP, MP. Um, not much else to say about that. A fairly decent ring in general, if you're on something that benefits a lot from whiz, whiz mod type characters. And then we've got the Angel's Fanfare. Now, I saved this for last because it's really confusing to me. But it increases your attack by 12 for 4 seconds. Okay. So, you use it. Oh my god, look at that skin. Look at that skin. I'm massive. I preferred the sheep, to be honest. But, you know. It's kind of cool. It's still kind of cool. So, my it, attack goes up by 12. What's my attack at right now? 55. Decent. So, it goes up to 63. And then it also gives you healing for 4 seconds. Defense goes up by 8 for 4 seconds. And within 4 squares, inspired. Okay, that's, you know, pretty standard for a bard. Uh, just increases your range. Within 4 squares, increase maximum HP by 80 for 4 seconds. Holy shit, okay. So, you get HP up, attack up, death up, and healing. Can you spam it? There's no cooldown. There's literally no cooldown. This is better than a priest. This is better than a pally. Okay, it's like probably equal to a pally. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. Like, I can just tank all of this. And it hardly uses any MP, too. 120, that is nothing. That's the same as this. Considering Bard has so much H I mean, MP, look at that, 545 MP, like, it's absolutely nothing. I am just shredding these gods left and right. I can just stand here and press spacebar, and I'm good. Because the HP stacks. So how much HP can I get? Oh, I can only get 900? I thought I saw it say 980 there, but... I don't know. It's interesting. Got a lot of HP. 900 HP, 545 MP. I've got crazy death, considering I'm a rogue class. 55 death. It's pretty overpowered, to be honest. This set is probably the most overpowered ST set in the game. And that's considering that they changed it since it was really OP before and they had to nerf it. But I don't really see how they nerfed it, to be honest. I don't even remember what the stats were on the original one. So, I honestly have no idea. If you guys can tell me in the comments or put something in the comments that, that tells other people what was different um, when it was first released on testing, then that'd be sick. Let's do a snake pit real quick. Why not? So, with the full set equipped, you get plus... Oh my god, how much? You get plus... 7 dex plus HP, HP, HP is 80 HP, 60 MP, bloody hell. So you've permanently got 820 HP without even pressing spacebar. And then you press spacebar and you've got 900. It doesn't actually stack. I thought it did. Maybe it doesn't. Plus 230, fucking hell. 
this is actually insane. Like, and the fact that you can get this for free is pretty cool. Because I was thinking, like, oh, it's an ST set. Like, deck is just going to milk the fuck out of it. Put it in the shop and everyone's going to have to buy it. And they're going to make a bunch of money off of it. But, no. I mean, you can pay to win it. Like, you, you can. If you boost the, the campaign points. But... At the end of the day, it's still free. It's still a free campaign that you can get through tokens. So, I'm down for it. I'm down for it, 100%. And talking about the tokens, I think I'm going to try and see if I can actually get some of those. So, I've got some keys here. What keys do I need to do? Let's do a thicket. So, I'm going to do a thicket to see if I can get some points. I just want to know what these tokens look like. I want to see them. They're music notes, so I assume they kind of look like what I'm shooting right now, but I'm not positive. I feel like this dungeon's probably going to be the easiest one for me to solo out of all of them. Okay, that kind of does a lot of damage. But hey, let me just press spacebar real quick, and I'm good to go. I'm 100% good. <gasps> Ooh, I got sat on there. Doesn't matter, I press spacebar, so I'm good. This is ridiculous. Okay, that does a lot of damage, actually. 195? Holy shit. Those are big boy numbers. The range on this bow is actually pretty decent, too, once you have the Inspire buff. Look at that. Too good. It's about equal to the Void bow, I guess. Maybe higher? Oh. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no token. I wonder if it's just from the third boss. I really don't want to find out. Like, I don't want to go through all of this. Oh, I just realized I haven't even opened this mystery ST crate. Oh, <gasps> yo! <gasps> ow, 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 Oh my god. Okay, this is actually kind of sketchy now. Um, because I'm sick. And you can't heal through sick anymore. Because they changed that. Easy! Yo, how do we do it? Look at that, got that mana. Oh my god. Fucking come at me, dude. I can tank all of this. Easy. No problem, bro. Literally no problem. I can just stand here. Like, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, anything that prevents you from being able to use your ability is the only thing that's going to stop you. It just kind of feels good to be able to shoot out so many shots like stacked up like that. But at the same time, they're really slow. So it kind of feels like you're not doing a lot of DPS when you probably are. Okay, do I actually like have to hit him during this phase? Or is it just solely survival? I never know. I don't think he ever goes vulnerable, so too easy. Wait for the next one. There we go. Oh my god, how do we do it? How do we do it? Soloed with the bard set. This this thing is just too overpowered. It's just too good. Let's sit on this for good luck. There we go. And this one too. Fuck it. Wait, what? What happened? Did I have to shoot him? Oh my god. <laughs> what happened? What happened? He usually dies there. What? What did I do wrong? No. Okay, okay, he's dying, he's dying. Let me shoot him. What? Oh, he's dead. Okay, perfect. I don't even know what the, the deal is with that, but... Oh, you do get them! Music note, times two, look at that. Wow. So you get two music notes for completing the secluded thicket in its entirety. You don't get anything from the first two bosses, but the last one gives you two. So I don't know if this would be the quickest way to farm these. I'm not sure what the other dungeons give, but... I just got 14 campaign points, so... Hopefully things like Lost Holes give more. 
I'm hoping they do, because if everything gives two, then it's not going to be pretty. It's going to take ages to complete. So, I don't know about that, but hopefully they give you a decent amount that's worth your time. So, yeah. Guys, you already know that this set is not shit. It's amazing. It's the best set in the game, in my opinion. I think it's just it's too good. I can't wait for it to come out on prod, and I can't wait to get it. It's going to be awesome. So, guys... Hop on, 24th, the 24th it's coming out, guys, go get your campaign points, go pop your fungal keys, your lost holes, all of that. Oh my god, I forgot that the server queue is actually on here. I'm the only person on testing right now, I'm literally the only person on here. But they made all the servers only 5 people. So, if there were 4 other people on... I could test out the the full server thing. It basically it's the same thing as the realm. If there's a full realm, then it puts you in a queue, kind of like the same thing, um, but for servers. So I'm looking forward to that. That should be good. It's really annoying having to restart your game all the time for stuff like that, trying to get into a server. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. You have a good one.